so far away. <laughs> That's better. What do you have to say today? Oh, I got something on the end of my tongue. The cat's got her tongue. <laughs> the cat's got her tongue. I don't know the rest of the words. This is the first Tibet man I've ever uh, dated <laughs> who has brown eyes. And it's really cool because his eyes are just the same color that my mom's were. And when I look at him sometimes, it still surprises me. I like it. <laughs> I used to think my eyes were brown, but Alan tells me they're, they're not. Nope. They're A's, he says. Kind of like close to brown, but not brown. Can't make up their mind brown? <laughs> <laughs> I sort of remember the first time you said, oh, we both have brown eyes. And I was thinking, no, we don't. <laughs> you didn't tell me. You know why? You were being the good boy. I was being the good boy. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm surrounded by people who are living... In the dream. Not living the dream, but living <coughs> in the dream. In the bubble. In the bubble. Dream bubble. It astounds me sometimes. The things that people will say that it's clear to everybody else who's standing around that that's not reality, but no one wants to tell them. <laughs> I've been kind of conditioned that, Alan, you don't want to tell the truth here. You'll just burst their bubble. But sometimes it's really just irritating how if you don't, if no one bursts the bubble, the fantasy world Builds. just continues to, yeah, and it gets bigger. And yeah. eventually it's like, well, it's going to pop. And if it's a bubble that's 20 times bigger than it started out to be, it's probably going to hurt more than if someone popped it when it was small. But hey. You know, I think of that. Uh, it's not just... It's not just a romantic bubble. When I filed my harassment complaint, that should never have had to have happened if that was nipped in the bud way long before I showed up on the scene. So uh, ignoring the truth is not... It's not good. Not but a good idea. It seems like the society we live in is conditioned to don't tell them the truth. It even starts with kids. Like, it starts with kids. Well, Santa Claus, we're gonna make Tooth some, Fairy. We're going to make some shit up just because. And then we're going to tell them that we made it up. and Because that will restore their faith in us. Mm. I couldn't, I... It, I don't know what the world... I mean, I understand that there are certain things in certain situations. It's not a good time to tell the truth. Not, not a good time to let them know, you know, like, oh, your loved one was killed in a car accident. And the reality was it took them three hours to die in painful agony. Well, you don't necessarily want to tell them that, that truth, because what's the point of that? Yeah. But I, I remember my, my uncle, my grandmother's sister's husband, apparently he went into a doctor and had tests run because of some kind of an illness, and he was not told that he was dying of cancer. His wife was told, but somehow he wasn't told. And I thought, that's effed up. So... Is that even legal? How is that well, this legal? Well, is, this is a long time ago. I don't know, you know, what the... This is, you know, when I was very young. But and maybe I got it all ass backwards. But that just, for me, is an example of the kind of things that someone decides, well, we can't, you know, we shouldn't tell them the truth. We should, you know... I think the truth should be the first thing that should hmm. be told. Now, I know... Politically, there are certain situations where, like, if you tell everyone, oh, this is going to happen, the, the population may panic. That's a whole different kind of telling the truth than, you know, someone shows you, my favorites are, someone shows you the video and goes, wow, what do you think of this? Isn't this great? And, you, and then you're forced to go, oh, yeah, that's just wonderful. When you're thinking, I'm wasting my life watching this. <laughs> I like the one where they say, I want, please give me your feedback. And then you never hear from them again. Yeah. Well, there's a few people who have asked me for feedback, and I would then say, you know, when you ask me for feedback, I'm going to tell you what I really think, not what you want to hear, want to hear necessarily. I'm not going to imagine what you want to hear. I'm just going to tell you what 
I really think. Do you still want my feedback? <laughs> That's fun to do. I'm a little disgruntled with society at the moment. Because? People who ask for things that have forgotten that they've treated you like shit earlier and then... Oh, yes. Well, there's a number of people we've... I mean, it's just, I guess, the mix. I don't, I don't know what the percentage is, but in a social group of, say, 100 people, there's going to be a certain number of them who are going to be unable to help themselves. They're going to be uh, taking advantage of kindness for their own personal benefit. And you know what really gets me? And you catch them in it sometimes, and they aren't going to admit that no. you caught them. No, but I, I really like the smarmy one that goes... Uh, I think we went and um, got too explicit on that one. <laughs> well, maybe you can bleep some of that out. Let's let's. That covers a, a variety of people, not here, just one. Start start do it, start it over again, and don't be specific to a certain place or event. Just say you know generic. You're gonna splice that yeah. together. Yeah. It also bothers me when. I can't be specific about something because Alan won't let me. No, just a minute. <laughs> I don't think I can. It bothers me when a person um, sucks up to you. After they've clearly insulted screwed you, you over. Yes. And they're, they don't want to admit it. So they're just pretending like it never happened. And then they, but they want another favor. So they're going to, you know, gloss well, over they, what they they'll did. Make, they, well, in some cases, one of the cases I know that you're thinking of is the person completely forgets they fabricate something like the bad thing they did as if it never happened. And then they fabricate, they interact with you as if they've apologized, which they never have. <laughs> and then they talk to you like everything is wonderful, which it isn't. And you're left to s sit there and kind of go... Am I going to call them on this bullshit or what? That's what you're talking about. Yeah. I know that. Actually, that's happened a couple of times to you. And I'm going to call you even though I don't like confrontation. Oh, I might have made it peak. Uh, I have a feeling this could be interesting the next time. If I'm there and Joe bumps into uh, one of a couple of people, three people maybe, who have been kind of like dickheads. You know who you are. I think they know who they are. They, they probably don't watch they this. They don't though. watch this. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. sad because then there'd be a warning. Yeah, then they'd know what was coming. All right. That's it. That's all. Gotta wrap it up. That's a wrap. Bye. <laughs>